House of Commons has paid a great tribute to Sir Winston. In Westminster Hall, as we vividly remember, the members of both houses honoured him at the time of his 80th birthday. On behalf of both Houses of Parliament, Prime Minister, I ask you to accept this portrait. The greatest parliamentarian of this age made a characteristic reply. This is, uh, to me, the most memorable public occasion of my life. No one has ever received a similar mark of honour before. There has not been anything like it in British history. And indeed, I doubt whether any of the modern democracies abroad has shown such a degree of kindness and generosity to a party politician who has not yet retired <laughs> and, 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 may, and may at any time be involved in controversy. The portrait is a remarkable example of modern art. Now, ten years after that scene in Westminster Hall, Sir Winston has said goodbye to the house he first entered 64 years ago. He paid his last visit on the day before the government and opposition again acknowledged his services to Parliament and the nation. He will not stand in the next election. It seems like the end of an era. Lady Churchill, his loving partner for 56 years, was at Hyde Park Gate as, for the last time, the great man returned from his seat in the Commons. With complete assurance, we can say we shall not look upon his like again. More people waited at Hyde Park Gate next day. Members of the family present included Sir Winston's daughter Mary, her husband, and Mr. Randolph Churchill. To the amazement of everybody, there was a minor disturbance. A fanatic denounced Sir Winston as a war criminal. It takes all sorts. The Prime Minister led a deputation from the Commons bringing the motion passed that afternoon. He was accompanied by Mr. Wilson and Mr. Shinwell for the Labour Party, Mr. Selwyn Lloyd and Sir Thomas More, the Deputy Father of the House. Mr. Grimman represented the Liberals. Inscribed on vellum, the motion was to be conveyed to Sir Winston by the Premier. The great commoner has ended his career in Parliament, his place in history secure. He has won the affection and admiration of us all. <laughs>